Hello again everyone, Dimitri here from Small Form Factory. So it's taken over five months for this to get here, but I finally received my AXP90 from AliExpress, which means I can finally do some comparison testing on 47mm coolers that are used in very popular cases like the Dan A4 and the old Velka 5, which has now been replaced with the Velka 7. I personally run the Alpenfoam Black Ridge in my own PC, but with the recent release of the IS47K by ID Cooling and a lot of debate on Reddit, I've been really excited to see if either the Thermalrite AXP90 or IS47K can match or even top the performance of the Black Ridge. I also included the NHL9 with the fan swap to an NFA9, as this configuration also comes out to 47mm and gives us the best case scenario for noise testing. I will be excluding the CryoRig C7 and all of its variants, as I don't have my hand on any of these, and prices for these have currently been upwards of $100 due to a complete lack of availability, which honestly you'd just be crazy to be paying these prices anyway, as the rest of these coolers could be had for around half that. Since all these CPU coolers are running different fans, I ran several tests to not just test the coolers as they come out of the box, but also the heat sinks themselves, using the same fan as well as some other configurations. To do this, I ran my Ryzen 5 3600 with no limits using Arctic MX4 as a thermal interface. Since both the Black Ridge and IS47K came with their fans set to exhaust, I also tested with the fans flipped to intake just to cover all the bases I possibly could. All testing was done with a 20 minute run of IDA64 to allow the CPU temperature to fully equalize. The decibel meter was placed one foot away from the CPU and all temperatures will be taken as over ambient as I don't have a temperature regulated environment to work in. So, to begin, we will look at each of the coolers in their stock configurations, with the fan speeds maxed out. I personally wouldn't recommend any of these configurations unless you're using a high-end CPU like the Ryzen 9 3950X or i9 10900K, as they're just really loud, but this data is still good to have. From this first test, we can see that the all-copper AXP90 beats the rest of the competition in terms of thermals and only loses to the 25mm fan in terms of noise. This doesn't tell the whole story, however, and once we flip the fans to intake on the IS47K and Black Ridge, we see a fairly significant increase in noise for both, but also a 4.5 and 2.4 degree decrease respectively. Though I don't have exact evidence for why these coolers perform better in an intake configuration, my assumption is that there's just not enough space underneath the heat sink for the fan to pull air from, and that causes greater obstruction to airflow than there would be just pulling air through the heat sink fins. The noise increase, however, is very easy to explain, as the fan blades being so close to the heat sink are causing some turbulence underneath, generating more noise with the Black Ridge being louder due to its denser fins. One more thing to note though, is that this testing was done in an open air environment, and when you do place these other coolers into a case, the noise for the NHL9 and AXP90 will increase from turbulence against the side panel, much in the same way that the IS47K and Black Ridge did against their heat sink fins. Regardless, I'll be dropping the exhaust results for the rest of the video, as this clearly is not the optimal way to run these coolers. From the optimal setup graph, we can see that the Black Ridge is able to overtake the AXP90, but this comes at a significant cost to noise, while the thicker fan on the NHL9 is the winner when it comes to noise, but performs the worst thermally. The IS47K just sits in an awkward spot, being both the second loudest and second hottest. One last thing to add here is that the Black Ridge also includes support for a slim 120mm fan if you're willing to use very low profile memory, which should improve noise and thermal performance even further, but I'll test that another time. This video is already going to be long enough as it is. Next, by swapping all of the fans to Noctua's NFA 9x14, we can see which cooler produces the best results given a standardized fan. Again, we do see that the IS47K and Black Ridge are louder than the competition due to the turbulence, but they make up for it with their performance. Clearly, the Black Ridge is the winner here, cooling the CPU 5 degrees lower than even the AXP90, but again, it is the loudest because of those dense fins. This allows the AXP90 to give you the best of both worlds, and leaves the IS47K nearly equal to the AXP90 thermally, 
but it's still a fair bit louder. The NHL 9 can honestly just be ignored here as the thermals make it a very poor performer, whether you're using a normal or slim fan. Next, we will look at noise normalized testing. By setting all the stock fans to an equalized noise level of 42 decibels, we can see which of these coolers will be usable within a tolerable noise level, at least with the included fan. Here we see that the AXP90 and Blackridge are almost tied, showing off just how good the fan included with the AXP90 is and how good the heatsink of the Blackridge is despite its weaker fan. Here the NHL9 with the standard sized fan shines, being a decent alternative to these coolers, only being a degree worse, but unfortunately that's as good as this setup is ever going to get. The stock fan on the IS47K is just too weak, trailing behind the competition by an additional 3.5 degrees. Finally, we have our noise normalized testing with the NFA9 by 14 as a fixed variable. One very interesting thing to note here is that unlike our testing with the fan running at its max 2500 RPM, where we saw that the IS47K and Blackridge were decently louder than the other two heat sinks, all the heat sinks were able to maintain the same noise level at 2300 RPM, with the exception being the Blackridge, which had to be lowered another 50 RPM to drop to 42 dBA. While I again don't know for certain the cause for this, my guess is that the lowered fan pressure removes a lot of the turbulence caused where the fan sits underneath the heat sink. Here again, we see the Blackridge taking the crown, despite the lower RPM of the fan, while the AXP90 and IS47K are essentially tied. The NHL9 with the thicker fan isn't far behind, but the stock NHL9 is just left suffering greatly. This does bring us to the final deciding factor with these coolers, price and availability. The Black Ridge, while being the best performer, is also the most expensive at between 64 and 70 US dollars, but it can be purchased pretty readily with about a one week shipping time from either the US or UK. The XP90 is in the middle of the pack for pricing at around 50 US dollars, but the only place I've been able to find it available is on AliExpress, and with the ongoing geopolitical status of 2020, it's really difficult to get a hold of. I originally purchased this cooler back in March with the intent of making this video back then, but the cooler was lost in the mail after three months, and I had to wait another two months for the replacement to finally show up at my doorstep. The NHL9 is only $40 and available to order with two-day shipping from Amazon. Just keep in mind that this is a slimmer heatsink, so it's going to be the worst performer. The IS47K is the cheapest cooler at only 38 USD, and also readily available from Amazon for two-day shipping, which makes it the best cooler if you're really impatient or budget conscious, but it still suffers due to that really weak fan. I'll be including links for where to buy all of these coolers in the video description below, just to save you guys some hunting. So there we have it. With all the data compiled, it's finally conclusion time. If you only plan to buy a heatsink and not replace the fan, you can't beat the AXP90. The stock fan was quite impressive, giving the best noise results and performing only marginally behind the more expensive and loud Blackridge. Unfortunately, the lack of availability for this cooler makes it very hard to recommend, and I would only really purchase it if you really want that copper aesthetic. If you're looking for the ultimate in performance, however, getting a Blackridge and swapping the fan for an NFA 9x14 is the clear winner. Though the Blackridge does suffer from having a really weak stock fan, it makes up for this with the engineering that went into those dense fins. By simply replacing the fan, this becomes the ultimate low profile CPU cooler and the one I'll be sticking with for all of my builds unless something new can dethrone it. The Black Ridge is still the top performer even with the stock fan, but the performance becomes pretty marginal and at a cost of having a significantly higher noise ceiling. Unless you really need a cooler ASAP or you're on the strictest budget, I just avoid using the IS47K altogether, as well as the NHL9, at least in its 47mm config. These coolers just don't compete with the other two. The NHL9 isn't really designed to be used like this however, and it's still the dominating cooler for smaller cases that only support 37mm heatsinks, such as the very popular Velka 3. I hope you guys found this data useful and can apply it to your current or future builds. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like and get subscribed for more content like this coming up soon, and thanks for watching.